Hey, what is up everybody? It is me, Anthony, and I am back and I'm here to talk about Jurassic Park because you know why Jurassic World Dominion, the sixth movie in the Jurassic Park franchise is coming out next month and I wanted to go week by week and review all the movies up until that point. So sit back and relax, like and subscribe if you want to and let's sit down and talk about why Jurassic Park is still important. So I'm not going to go into breaking down the synopsis because, I mean, it's a bunch of people that go to a park full of dinosaurs and shit goes down. And if I hadn't seen this movie a hundred million times, the premise alone of just some people going to a dinosaur park and stuff starts happening is enough for me to even get interested. But thankfully, I have seen this movie lots and lots of times when I was a wee lad and I, I can't believe that it still holds up to this day. Jurassic Park to me is one of those movies that it's just a perfect storm. You have one of the best directors of his time and at the time in Steven Spielberg and you have the practical effects and just the cast that they have for this film. Everything is going together not to mention that score by John Williams. But right off the bat this film lets you know what kind of movie you're going to be in for. I mean they have the raptor scene where they're putting the raptor in the enclosure. You know the famous Famous quotable line, shoot ha, shoot ha. Uh, it's so cool. And speaking of quotes, this movie is jam packed full of them. Another thing that really makes this movie timeless for me is just the importance that they put into the Jurassic Park theme. You already know it's composed by the great John Williams, the composer of other movies like Indiana Jones and the Star Wars franchise. And he puts his spin in this. And I always really wonder how these composers can, like, just get a description of a movie of like, hey, you know, we're gonna have a, you know, a, the helicopter landing in a Jurassic Park. Um, what kind of music would that be? And I always, always amazed how composers can just visualize and just put it on a piece of paper and just, you know, hear it kind of. It's, it's really, really cool. And my cat decided to join, but now he doesn't want to stay here. <laughs> but one of the best things that I think that holds this film together is the characters. And if you really think about it, Jurassic Park, the story itself, isn't really that new or entertaining. It's just the way that it's executed makes it really, really good. And I think the big major reason for me personally, the reason why it stands out and it becomes bigger than its plot, its simple plot, is because of the characters in here. The characters for me really push this movie to a different level. But even the smaller characters in this film really stand out and they do it just by a couple of lines. And those couple of lines, you already get a lot of that character with the few dialogue scenes that they have. It's, it's really kind of astonishing that they do that. But like I said, it's a credit to the director, Steven Spielberg, and all the actors in this film because they really, really went for it. Another big hero of this film is the animatronics. Now at the time of this movie, when this movie was filmed, animatronics were the craze then. But as time goes on, there hasn't been a lot of films that that implement animatronics in their film anymore. We get the occasional movie here and there that has animatronics, but for the most part, we don't see those in movies anymore. And the reason why Hollywood says that they don't do it as much is because it costs too much money and CGI is cheaper, which I totally understand. I mean, you have to make all those parts and hire a lot more people than you would need to to build like one raptor in this case than you would just one person doing a whole bunch of visual effects. But ah, man, I really wish that movies just went back to that animatronic feel because it just brings more life into the film and I think it actually helps the actors and actresses as well because instead of looking at a green screen and pretending that you know something's there which they did do this in that film the great uh, big brachiosaurus scene there wasn't a real brachiosaurus there so they had to you know act that it was there great scene by the way but for the most part I think it really helps actors if you can have something really tangible really there and it helps the audience as well because we see something that looks really really real and not CGI where you can noticeably tell like okay that's CGI it kind of just for me when I see CGI in a lot of films 
it kind of just takes me out of it you know that fear factor that you would need in this Jurassic Park film with the raptors and other dinosaurs coming at you is more intense because they look real with the animatronics it just makes it so much better in my opinion and one thing that I've noticed over the years of me watching Jurassic Park multiple times is that this movie isn't just an adventure film it's not just an action film it's not just a horror film it's all of them combined and for a movie to combine all these different genres sci-fi as well is really really cool like again it's just a perfect storm kind of movie because you have the elements of horror in this film laura dern's character dr sadler running across the field as a raptor is coming towards her it really gives off some horror vibes and they do it really well in that film and i think this is also a great sci-fi film if you want to get into the whole technical of how these dinosaurs were made and you know the reproductive system and how they could change all this stuff but as much as I love Jurassic Park, everything isn't sunshines and rainbows, you know? I did notice over the years of watching this film that there is just some kind of uh, set pieces that are just that, they're set pieces. They're like scenes set up to just be action scenes where, and if you were thinking about it, you know, in, or I guess a reality sense, even though we're watching movies, you know, we're supposed to be escaping reality. But there's a scene in particular where Dr. Alan Grant goes into a tree to retrieve one of the kids. And uh, I always just wondered when watching that scene, I was like, why didn't you just go to the side of the tree? Because the car would just go down and you would be on the other side and, and you wouldn't get hit. Uh, you know, just scenes like that where just like you could totally tell it was just set up just to be an action scene. It's a good action scene, don't get me wrong, but it's also when you really think about it, it's like you could have just went on the side. You didn't have to do that. <laughs> and like I said, there's quite a few scenes or set pieces in this film that just do that. They just put something there and that could be kind of avoided by the characters in the film. But they put them in there for the suspense of the film, the action scenes. It doesn't ruin the movie at all. It's just one of those things that I just, you know, over the years, after you watch, you pay attention, you're like, hey, that, that's weird. So now comes the time for me to answer the question, why is Jurassic Park still important to this day? And for me, the reason why I think Jurassic Park is important is that it shows that you can take a simple premise, you know, granted it is from a book, but you can take a simple premise and create that into one of the most beloved movies of all time. It's not easy. It's not gonna be, you know, a walk in the park or anything, but if you put the time into it to flesh out the characters and focus on certain elements of your story, a simple story can blossom into a more complex story, which I think Jurassic Park is. And I just wish more movies did that. I know, you know, Hollywood is a machine, more of a machine than it is back in the day, and they just want to turn out movies as much as possible and get as much profit as possible. But I just wish that the directors and everybody involved making this film were just able, you know, just had the more time to just sit down and flesh out their stories. Even if it's a simple story, like I said, I, I kind of like simple stories and just really focus in on what they want to do to make it really special. But guys, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Why do you think Jurassic Park is still important to this day? Or do you not think Jurassic Park is important? Let me know in the comments down below. But guys, that is it. That is my thoughts on Jurassic Park. You know, it's really, really fun. I can't wait. I like this marathon that we're doing and but the next film that we're going to be talking about is um, The Lost World's Jurassic Park. I got some thoughts about that, <laughs> so stay tuned. But guys, don't forget to check out my Twitter so you can stay up to date with my channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And remember guys, keep watching movies.